What up? This is Grant. Hey. It's day one. We have made it to Australia. Um, met up with Grant in Los Angeles. Then we flew 15 hours to Sydney. Um, pretty turbulent flight. It was like a boat. Yeah, like very consistent movement. Kind of not just to sleep though. Yeah, yeah, it, it was side to side turbulence, which is kind of unique, but. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to do it again. Yeah, I'd say I'm glad I did it once. Yeah, 15 hour flight's no joke. Uh, I slept for like eight hours, watched two movies, and I think just like stared at my knees for the last hour. You? I did not. I'm uh, not a avid plane sleeper. Uh, clocked about four hours, then the flight from Sydney to Melbourne. I was placed behind a... <laughs> yeah, we just took another flight to <laughs> Melbourne now. A two-year-old girl who... She did not like that was, airplane. ...was very vocal and has a future in soccer, by the way, she's kicking my back. Yeah, but it feels good to be here. It's pretty warm. I feel pretty good about avoiding the jet lag. I feel like I'm, I'm about to be... It's all mental. Yeah, it's a mental game. And mentally, I've you already beat it. that later. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Anyway, uh, we're at the Melbourne airport trying to figure out what the crap we're doing. We didn't plan anything, so uh, we're like, should we take a big bus? Should we Uber? We have, we have like a 24 hour gap from when like the rest of the crew gets here. That's kind of by yeah. design. And so right now Just we're us. Googling food and Airbnbs, but Jake had a guy he met in Hawaii message him on Instagram saying, hey, you can stay with us. Maybe. Seems legit. So we're waiting on that. And then we just decide, Grant's like, why don't we just walk this direction and see what's up? And we find all this right here. It's so sweet. And it was right next to us the whole time. Uh, one thing I will say we already don't enjoy is the currency or the exchange rate in Australia. It makes things more expensive. So how expensive was that? Uh, it was $4 here, but it's like two fifty dollars probably in the States. They have a Australian soda called Blood Orange. This shot of it here was also $4, so everything feels expensive, even though it's not that much. But so it's anyway. really not a bad thing. We just, <laughs> our brains are just slow. Yeah, stupid. My oh, man. Pizza's ready. Pepperoni pizza review. This is a massive flop. A little soupy. Pretty hot. Really hot. <laughs> we'll go, uh, Six point seven. First, it really just set my mouth ablaze. Coming back for more is a lot better. Texture is great. Like I said, huge flop, pretty soupy. Um, but you can you can tell they care about it. I am gonna interrupt that review real quick. Do you want to just read this message I just got? Tell me what that says. Um, from Andre. Mi casa, su casa. You and your mates can stay at ours. You don't mind being in. <laughs> you don't mind being in whoop whoop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but we got a place to stay. It's now 10:30 p.m. Standard Australian time. We're in Melbourne still. Uh, we had dinner. We got a place to stay. It feels like we've been awake for several days now. Uh, but we mentioned it earlier that we might have a place to stay out on the whoop whoop. I think that was where he left off last, yeah, right? Yeah, the whoop whoop. We're in the beautiful home of Andre and Chrisette. Do you, got, you should explain to them how we know each other. Um, so Jake and us met in Hawaii on a random road where you weren't allowed to take pictures and um, it all just started with, I don't even remember. Like, how did it start? <laughs> That's about right. Pretty yeah. much we talked for 30 minutes and now we're best mates. She has her first night in Melbourne. We got two more nights here uh, and we've been joined by two other people on this trip. Grant, would you like to introduce your friends? These are my friends. Um, Carter and Austin, they came and stayed with me in Portland yeah. for a little bit. Thought they were super tight. Uh, they were coming here. Somehow we both linked up our trips to come a day early for no reason. And just so happened we got to come crash this wonderful home with wonderful people. Now we're here just ready to goon. Tennis tomorrow. <laughs> and then uh, Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And then spray tan in spray between. Tan. We got talking at dinner what tomorrow should be. Found out that Andre's teaching a Jiu Jitsu class at 11 a.m. Figured we should probably do that. Come on. And then we can't stop laughing slash thinking about the idea of showing up to the airport to greet everyone else tomorrow, being super tan from spray tans. Orange, actually. Yeah, pretty orange. And just, Carter, what was your line earlier? 
Uh, the sun is just crazy here. <laughs> Down south. You guys and can't find your... Like, like 10, mi 10 minute max. Like, do not stay up more than 10 minutes. This will happen to <laughs> yeah. you. Okay, finally winding down the day a little bit right now. A couple things I feel like I forgot to mention. One, I'm going to Australia in a group of 13 people. Grant is the only one that I know. Um, the group text that we've been in, I have, you know, Grant's phone number and no one else's. I've had no idea who I've been texting, who I've been making plans with but um, seem like cool guys. Another thing I forgot to mention, with the time change of the, like, the, what is it, the international date line, I didn't even get a February 25th. We just skipped right over it, left on a Sunday, landed in Australia on a Tuesday. Sounds like a riddle or something, but it's not. I do get to March 11th on my way back though. Excited for that. Yeah, I'm just sitting here exporting a video for uh, Trey and I's next video coming up, which I'm really excited about gonna shower haven't done that in a while and then uh i'm on my way to beating jet lag i'll be in bed by like midnight wake up at like eight that's way more sleep than i normally get anyway so day one in australia in the books thanks for watching much more exciting entertaining beautiful looking things ahead hopefully